Leo Gorsi, a familiar face in classic Hollywood, likely entered your radar at some point. Whether it was through his gritty on-screen persona or memorable roles, many have a connection with this seasoned actor. When did you first notice him? Perhaps it was in one of his iconic performances that left a lasting impression. Consider which of Gorsi's works resonates most with you. Is there a particular film or character that holds a special place in your heart? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories and memories related to this Hollywood legend. Stay tuned as we delve into some funny, shocking, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor. Keep watching to uncover more about the life and career that you may find intriguing. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to Leo Gorsi. Your stories add depth to the narrative of this iconic figure. Let the conversation begin in the comments. Born on June 3, 1917, in New York City, Leo Gorsi's early life laid the groundwork for his future in the entertainment industry. Growing up in a bustling urban environment, he faced challenges from an early age, experiencing the struggles of the time firsthand in a working-class family. Leo's family played a pivotal role in shaping his character, with his father, Bernard Gorsi, being a theater manager who exposed him to the world of entertainment. However, tragedy struck when his mother passed away when he was just nine years old, marking a turning point in his life and forcing him to confront the harsh realities at a young age. In the midst of adversity, Leo found solace and camaraderie in the streets of his neighborhood. Forming a bond with a group of friends, including Bobby Jordan and Hunts Hall, they became known as the Dead End Kids. Their shared experiences navigating the challenges of the streets became a foundation for their future collaborations in the film industry. Leo's entry into acting was somewhat serendipitous. In 1935, he and his friends were discovered by a talent scout during a performance at the Lafayette Theater. This led to their first major break in the play Dead End, written by Sidney Kingsley. The play's success eventually translated to the silver screen as they reprised their roles in the film adaptation. The chemistry among the group members, particularly his distinctive tough guy persona, resonated with audiences, paving the way for a series of successful films, including the Dead End Kids series and later the Bowery Boys series. His ability to embody street-smart characters contributed to enduring popularity in the entertainment industry. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, including a brief hiatus from acting during World War II, Leo continued to leave an indelible mark on Hollywood. His experiences growing up in the diverse landscape of New York City, coupled with the bonds formed with fellow actors, shaped his career and contributed to the unique charm that defined his on-screen presence. In conclusion, early life experiences in New York City, the influence of family and camaraderie with friends laid the groundwork for a successful career in the entertainment industry. These early chapters set the stage for the iconic roles that would make him a recognizable figure in film history. Leo Gorsi, known for his contributions to the film industry, experienced an evolution in acting style over the years. He adeptly adapted to the changing trends in the film landscape. Initially, entering the scene with a distinctive approach characterized by a raw and unpolished demeanor, he quickly became recognizable for portraying streetwise characters, often infused with a sense of grit. As the cinematic landscape shifted, he demonstrated adaptability by refining his style. Embracing nuanced performances, Leo incorporated subtleties that added depth to his characters. This evolution showcased a keen understanding of the evolving tastes of audiences and the industry itself. In the realm of acting, he navigated through different genres, effortlessly transitioning from comedic roles to more serious and dramatic characters. His ability to resonate with audiences across various film genres reflected astute awareness of changing trends. Skillfully maneuvering through an ever-changing cinematic landscape, Leo left an indelible mark on each role undertaken. His journey in the film industry is a testament to flexibility and enduring appeal. In conclusion, the evolution of Leo Gorsi as an actor is a captivating exploration of adaptation and growth. From an initial raw and unpolished style to nuanced and versatile performances later in his career, he demonstrated a keen ability to navigate the dynamic world of film. His legacy remains etched in the annals of cinematic history. After losing his plumbing job, he found an unexpected turn in his career trajectory when joining his brother David in the world of acting. Sensing an opportunity, David roped him into a role when another actor unexpectedly collapsed on set. 
This impromptu entry marked the beginning of his journey in Hollywood. During the filming of Crashing Las Vegas, he, still grappling with the recent loss of his father, sought solace in the bottom of a bottle, resorting to heavy drinking between takes. The grief and personal struggles manifested in his behavior, reaching a point where crew members had to carry him off the set due to his inebriated state. Despite the challenges, he found moments of camaraderie, even claiming a connection with legendary actor Humphrey Bogart and the Dead End Kids. However, this camaraderie took an unexpected turn when a prank went awry. During one of Bogart's naps, they decided to toss lit firecrackers through his window, bringing an abrupt end to what seemed like a budding friendship. In summary, his foray into the world of acting was marked by unexpected twists and personal struggles. The anecdotes from his time on set not only highlight the challenges faced by actors in the industry, but also add a touch of unexpected humor, as seen in the incident with Humphrey Bogart. Hollywood, with all its glitz and glamour, had its share of unconventional moments, and his journey serves as a testament to the unpredictability of life in the entertainment business. Interred at Molinos Cemetery in Los Molinos, California, Leo Gorsi's journey in the world of acting took unexpected turns. From his early days as one of the original Dead End Kids, he evolved into a Bowery boy, adopting the nickname Slip Mahoney, a sanitized version of his stage and screen character Spit. Remarkably, he continued portraying this role until the age of 40. In a departure from his usual roles, he faced a memorable encounter during the filming of 1941's Out of the Fog. Repeatedly stumbling over a simple line, he clashed with director Anatole Litvak. In response to Litvak's rebuke, he retorted fiercely, asserting his stance. However, despite the confrontation, he struggled with the same line again. This time, Litvak delivered his critique quietly, emphasizing Gorsi's shortcomings as an actor without the need for shouting. The tale of his career is one marked by unique roles and occasional clashes on set. From the Bowery Boys to facing off with directors, his journey unfolds as a testament to the unpredictability of life in the entertainment business. An actor whose path was paved with unexpected twists, he navigated the challenges of his profession until the end. In the realm of Hollywood, Leo Gorsi's journey took unexpected turns, notably as part owner of the Bowery Boys franchise, alongside his agent Jan Grippo. Despite the B-movie status, this venture catapulted him into one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. Grippo served as the credited producer until 1951 when he departed due to his wife's passing. His departure from the Bowery Boys in 1955 followed with the tragic death of his father, Bernard, who frequently co-starred in the series. This event marked a pivotal moment in his career, prompting a shift in his professional trajectory. Adding to the twists in his personal life, his first wife left him for none other than Groucho Marx, his business partner on a radio program. Groucho, becoming not only his first husband-in-law, but also one of his closest friends, navigated the complexities of their unique relationship. In essence, his career was marked by business ventures, family tragedies, and unexpected personal connections, showcasing the unpredictable nature of life in the entertainment business. A testament to resilience and adaptation, the journey unfolds as a story of highs and lows. Leo Gorsi's journey in the entertainment industry took unexpected turns, revealing a story marked by unique challenges and personal connections. Initially known as one of the original Dead End Kids, he later transitioned into the role of Slip Mahoney in the Bowery Boys franchise, maintaining this character until the age of 40. Despite the B-movie status, the venture made him one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. His career was not without its share of personal tragedies. The departure of his agent Jan Grippo and the tragic death of his father, Bernard, in 1955 significantly impacted his professional trajectory. His first wife's departure, choosing Groucho Marx as her new partner, added another layer of complexity to his personal life. Surprisingly, Groucho became not only his first husband-in-law, but also one of his closest friends. In the midst of business ventures and family tragedies, Gorsi's departure from the Bowery Boys franchise in 1955 marked a pivotal moment in his career. Resilient and adaptable, he navigated the unpredictable nature of life in the entertainment business. The highs and lows of his journey stand as a testament to the challenges and unexpected connections that shape a career in Hollywood. Interestingly, his name is absent from the final cover of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. 
His request for a fee led to his exclusion, showcasing the business side of the industry. Additionally, his biography in Who's Who in Comedy provides further insights into his impact on the entertainment world. Leo Gorsi's story is one of resilience, adaptation, and the unpredictable nature of the entertainment business. President of his high school drama club, he displayed early signs of a passion for acting. This interest in drama set the stage for his later involvement in the entertainment industry. His journey, marked by unexpected turns and challenges, began with a plumbing job loss and an impromptu acting role. Through the highs and lows of Hollywood, from the Dead End Kids to the Bowery Boys franchise, he carved a unique path in the B-movie scene, becoming one of the industry's highest paid actors. However, personal tragedies, including the death of his father and the departure of his first wife, added complexities to his life. Resilient and adaptable, he faced clashes on set and navigated business ventures, showcasing the unpredictable nature of the entertainment business. From high school drama to Hollywood's unpredictable landscape, his story resonates as a testament to the challenges and unexpected connections that shape a career in acting. Leo Gorsi, known for his journey from plumbing to Hollywood, faced unexpected shifts in his career. Joining his brother David in acting after losing his plumbing job, he embarked on an impromptu entry into the field, marking the beginning of a challenging yet intriguing path. During the filming of Crashing Las Vegas, personal struggles, fueled by the recent loss of his father, led to heavy drinking between takes. His behavior reached a point where crew members had to carry him off the set due to intoxication. Despite the challenges, Gorsi found moments of camaraderie on set, claiming a connection with legendary actor Humphrey Bogart and the Dead End Kids. However, a prank gone awry, tossing lit firecrackers through Bogart's window, put an abrupt end to what seemed like a budding friendship. Transitioning into the role of Slip Mahoney in the Bowery Boys franchise, he continued until the age of 40. His encounter during the filming of Out of the Fog showcased clashes with director Anatole Litvak, emphasizing the unpredictability of his career. Departures, tragedies, and unexpected personal connections marked his journey from being part owner of the Bowery Boys franchise to the surprising departure of his first wife to Groucho Marx. The complexities continued with the tragic death of his father and Jan Grippo's departure, impacting his professional trajectory. Resilient and adaptable, he navigated business ventures, family tragedies, and unique connections in Hollywood, shaping a career filled with highs and lows. President of his high school drama club, Gorsi's passion for acting set the stage for his later involvement in the entertainment industry. From dead-end kid to Hollywood's unpredictable landscape, his story resonates as a testament to the challenges and unexpected connections that shape a career in acting.